help you remember about the class, but all these examples are in your book. In fact, there are more than enough examples in that book, because in this book, they repeat it over and over and over and over again, which is good because you need to hear it over and over and over again because to become um, good at it. The patient may have one complaint. One complaint means one problem. Several complaints means several problems. You say, what's, what's, what brings you in today? What is your problem? Oh, I got pain here. I have pain. It hurts. I got pain here, 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 here. Many pro problems. Well, you know, why has he got so many problems? We have to ask more questions. Determine the location of the problem. Can you show me where it hurts? Here. Because sometimes they just say, oh, my back hurts, or my neck hurts. But where, where in your neck does it hurt? Here or here? Right? Or down here? Ask them to point to it. Sometimes you should ask them, is that the only location of pain that you have? Is that the only one? Because sometimes they tell you the worst pain first. Oh yeah, I have pain here, and you know what? I also have a, my pain right here near my hand. Sometimes they don't say wrist. They say near my hand. And they'll point it, they'll point to it. Okay? you get an idea what the problem is. Always be sure to write down everything you hear from your patient. On, of course, in your notes, you have to prepare yourself. Use the right forms. Later on, I will show you how to do doctor's notes. That's in the next class, perhaps. I'll introduce that next week. Sometimes I like to use this form. Just a picture. If my patient tells me I've got neck pain right here, well, he's saying he's got pain in the right side, I'll take my pencil and I'll circle right back neck. Patient pointed here, I circle. You can use blue ink or red ink. Some people like red ink because it stands out. Now you'll, I'll put my patient's name here. I'll sign it on the bottom to make sure it doesn't get lost and put it in their file. Okay, we'll use this. We always go back to the file to review because we can't remember everyone. Unless you have photographic memory, that would be nice, but still, legally, you have to write it down. The law says you have to write everything down and sign everything. Okay, so. Next. Here's a more detailed chart. I like this one. Some people don't like it because they have to write more. I like it because it has the, uh, the relationship the posture, the surf, the uh, hips, the shoulders. It shows the skeletal system there and the levels of the spine. I, I think in that, you know, cervicals, thoracics, lumbars. How many neck? No, how many neck muscles do we have? <clears throat> I'm going to teach you an easy way to remember: neck, back and low back. In the morning I wake up, I eat my breakfast at 7 o'clock. My neck, seven bones. Remember, breakfast, 7 o'clock. Neck, cervical. The thoracics, the thoracics. At lunchtime I eat at 12 o'clock. Thoracics, 12 bones. I like to eat my dinner early, 5 o'clock, 5 volts. 
So, 7, 12, 5. Now you can never forget. Easy way to remember. Okay? Easy way. Uh, here with this form, uh, put your patient's name, the dates, the therapist or the doctor is included there. Remember, your notes are going to be seen by other people. You should try to write legibly. Doctors have a reputation of having very poor handwriting. We have a bad because we are in a rush to see the next patient. We have to slow down. We need to slow down. Patients feel that you're rushing. Don't make your patients feel that you're that they're not important. They are important. If the hospital administration says you have to go faster, I said no. I will not go faster. We will stay here longer until we are done. Because my patients are important. They deserve to have the time with us. How much pain does our patient have? If you're speaking to a foreign patient, it's hard for them to describe that or perhaps for you to understand how much pain. This is why I use this chart. Okay? If they have a lot of pain, they'll say, I look like this guy. And he will circle. Please circle which pain, which level of pain you have. This is good to hold on to. You put this in your file. Okay? After two or three weeks, you give them the form again, and you ask them, okay, today how much pain do you have? Then they circle two. So now you have the first day and re-exam day, three weeks later, perhaps three weeks later, and you can show them, look, you're getting better. Wow, when you first came here, you were 10. Today you are two. You're doing very well. And they, they will remember the day they were really bad. This is a very good technique to convince your patient to continue the treatment. Right? You want to become a popular doctor. You want to be remembered. You want your patients to talk nice and highly about you. This is one way. To include this. This is your marketing. Okay? You want to build your build your patient base. We're talking about creating your patient base or your patient family. You want to increase that. You don't want this form. This is kind of joke. This is so kind of funny. Ah, and too much pain. You can send a copy of this to your, your friends. You say, this is, this is my pain chart. It's kind of funny, right? But I wouldn't use this in my clinic. It's not professional enough, right? So you want to use a chart that looks very professional, like this one. This looks very professional. This is a very professional form. As you can see, it has nice color. It has an explanation about pain. And it has a pain scale right here. So you have your patient circle which one. And you can also give them a copy to take home. They take it home and they can read it. And you have a copy in their file. Now, this form is more expensive. It costs more money. Maybe the hospital won't buy it for you. But it might be a good investment for you. You might want to have it in your, in your, in your office, in your clinic. It looks nice. It would be perfect for foreign patients. You can probably get a translation of this for your other patients. 
as well. It's all it's a good it's a good form. Then you can have your name printed with your number and everything. 